Come on, people, it's a roast. What'd you think was gonna happen, huh? I'm excited. This is actually my first event with Shane Doan, so it might be my last, but we'll see how it goes. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's going to be a great time. <laughs> I like that. We roast the puck out of Shane Doan. You got to do it. You got to go for the throat. <laughs> and I am going to be taking notes and I'm going to be remembering everything you say. <laughs> Welcome everyone to this special edition of 12 Sports Tonight from the Rick Brunson House of Comedy in Phoenix. The Shane Doan Roast should be pretty special, huh? Coop, this should be a great night. A lot of great comedians here, and they are going to get after Shane Doan after a long career. It's about time he get roasted. You know, you know, I actually get a, a shot at it myself. Uh, yeah, you do. You got your jokes lined up? Well, hey. Hey. How we doing? Hey, Cam, it's nice to know that Phoenix Tent and Awning actually was able hey, to dress you tonight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, wh wh when was the last time you were on The Tonight Show? Kevin, hey, look. Let's see if, hey, let's see if your comedy game is as good as your short game. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey wh who's the last person you opened for? Huh? Tell me about that. That's fair. Well, hey, it's nice to see the only guy that remembers the entirety of Shane Dunn's career. <laughs> Mike is, uh, he's on point hey, tonight, Coop. Don't, don't you have to go inside? <laughs> I guess it, you're right, actually. It's about that time, Mike. You, you gotta go. And oh, oh, but hold on, wait, Coop. You have to tell jokes too tonight. Don't you have to go inside? Go, drop the mic, get out of here. I guess it's time to get roasted. Here we go, Shane Don't Roast, live on 12 Sports Tonight. Tell me about uh, Shane Don and playing hockey with him. Шейн Дон это великий игрок, великий хоккеист. Я считаю, что это большой пример того, как человек был предан своему клубу, играл долгую карьеру в одном месте. И хороший, добрый человек, он мне где-то подсказал, он мне всегда помогал, шутил, прикалывался над мной, это было смешно и весело. Так что для меня это большой, великий игрок и пример, каким должен стремиться быть хоккеистом. No idea, he's never heard of <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the roast of Shane Doan. Please welcome your host, Rick Bronson. Oh, yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rick Bronson. Welcome to the roast of Shane Doan here at the House of Comedy. Uh, this is a very exciting night. I'm thrilled to have Shane here. If you ask anyone about Shane, you ask his friends and family, they'll all say the same thing. He's such a terrific guy. He's a great husband. But if you ask literally anyone else, they'll all say, who the f*** is Shane Doan? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Everybody knows Shane. Shane Doan is universally known in Arizona. Everybody has never seen him play. I'm thrilled to be your host this evening as we honor Shane, or as his friends and family lovingly call him, Donor. Now, Donor, I know you're probably a little feeling a little nervous about tonight, not necessarily about the roast. Uh, but I've been to several Coyotes games, and I'm pretty sure this is the largest crowd you've ever played in front of. Can see it. Come on, I don't want to say Coyote games are sometimes quiet, but last week I went and won the 50-50, all right? Nine dollars. <laughs> It is nice to see several of uh, Shane's family and friends here tonight, in particular his lovely wife, Andrea. Where's Andrea? There, oh, she sat back. Good to see you. We weren't expecting to see her here tonight because after giving birth to four donor-sized kids, she'd been listed as day-to-day -day with a lower body injury. So Andrea, thanks for making it. That's a better laugh than I was expecting on that one, yeah. Let's talk about the man of the hour tonight. Let's get to know him. Shane Doan is from Halkirk, Alberta. Population, yes. 
I don't want to say how Kirk's a small town, but a night out on the town takes about, what, four and a half minutes, Donor? <laughs> yeah. Donor was drafted into the NHL by the Winnipeg Jets. Any fans hold out from the Winnipeg era? A couple of you? I was there with you. Dude, I'm upset. I used to go cheer you on all the time in Winnipeg. I was cheering, go Jets, go! They did. The Phoenix. <laughs> Apparently I was cheering too loudly, it's my fault. Sorry, Peggers. It must have been awesome though playing in Winnipeg, playing on a Canadian market, man. Everywhere you go, people asking for your autograph. And of course here in Phoenix, same thing. Everywhere you go, people asking you for Larry Fitzgerald's autograph. So, I tease because I love. When I was researching Dana, Shane, I actually Googled uh, Shane Don't Highlight Goals. And in all honesty, on it, both are terrific. <laughs> like, you almost went shelf on one of them. Pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah she got it up, buddy. <laughs> Shane, it's really quite a shame, actually, now that I think about it, that there was a lockout in 2005, because it robbed you of a chance of leading a team to last place one more time. <laughs> Shane, and I, I will say, I know in the, in the not-too-distant future, brother, it's going to be a very special day for you and your family when you make that trip to Toronto to the Hockey Hall of Fame to watch. Watch the induction of your cousin Carey Price of the Montreal Canadiens. He is so good. And finally, before I introduce the dais here this evening, Shane, here's one my 13-year-old son wrote for you. What's the difference between Shane Doan and my cupboard? My cupboard has cups in it. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> it's too late. You're retired. Sorry, buddy. Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our, our panel of roasters this evening. Let us meet our dais. Earl Skakel, where you at, Earl? Earl Skakel from Comedy Central's Roast Battle is here tonight. What can I say about Earl Skakel that the Sex Offender Registry hasn't said already? <laughs> Michael Turner is here tonight. The host of this week's Sucks Tonight is here. Michael is living proof, ladies and gentlemen, that Cabbage Patch Babies do indeed become Cabbage Patch Men. Paula Bovin is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah award-winning sports columnist for the Arizona Republic. We're thrilled to have her here. Paula got hired at the Cronkite School of Journalism because she shared a lot in common with Walter Cronkite. A thirst for the truth and a sweet mustache. All right. Chris Vandola from the Juicy Scoop podcast is here tonight. Little known fact about Chris Vandola, Remy Malik borrowed those teeth to play the part of Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> Coop is here, Bruce Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Like donor, Coop has been with the same team for his entire career, covering Arizona sports for NBC. Unlike donor, his contract has been renewed. <laughs> A little. a little too judgmental. <laughs> Lindsay Fry, ladies and gentlemen, from the U.S. Women's National Olympic Hockey Team is here tonight. Why is she here? We needed someone on the dais who actually had some success in hockey. Good to have you here. And finally, my dear friend Donald Grashear is here this evening. I'm Kate, as George LaRock. George is actually proof of the opposite expression. Black does crack if you've been punched in the face about 350 times. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to kick this off? What do you say we bring up your first roast to this evening? Ladies and gentlemen, is an Olympic silver medalist. As opposed to Shane Doan, who now takes Centrum silver. He's old, that's what I'm saying. Yes, he's old. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Lindsay Fry or Lindsay! <laughs> Thank you, Lindsay. Yeah, hey. <laughs> be nice, be nice. Whew. All right, so, uh, so Shane and I go way back when I was seven years old. Uh, he and I met each other at the autograph table at uh, what was Polarized Chandler back in the day where I grew up playing. Um, yep, yep. And, uh, you know, I, of course, was signing the autographs because he knew I'd be a big deal someday. <laughs> but, uh, you know, despite our lengthy history, I only got invited to this event about 24 hours ago, so... Um, <laughs> I didn't have a ton of time to come up with material for the whole squad here. Uh, I'll own it. I'm no better at coming up with quick comedy than Shane is at doing commercials. <laughs> Things people will do for money. I just... <laughs> So, uh, however, I do want to thank Rick for, for having me here at his club. Um, nothing makes you feel more special and welcomed at an event than having your name spelled wrong on your card. Um, you know, hey, it's hey, cool. George was in charge of oh, all the spelling. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's blame George, sure. Blame it on the black guy. <laughs> Okay, I've been waiting my whole life uh, to be a part of an event with Shane Doan. I didn't expect my first event to be a roast, so this may be the last one. Um, so I'm going to make it good. But seriously, when I was a kid, I wished every single birthday that I could be Shane Doan someday and play for the Coyotes. Um, but then when I was in those kind of early teenage years, I quickly realized that he and I were very biologically different. <laughs> um, and, and playing in the NHL probably wasn't in the cards for me. Um, so despite the fact that I never played in the NHL, we do have three things in common. Uh, we've both been to the Olympics. Oh no. We both have a general lack of foot speed. <laughs> And uh, neither of us have won Stanley Cups. So. <laughs> At least you had a chance. Touche. <laughs> oh, but more importantly, we do have one major difference. And uh, that is that only one of us has one of these. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Don't be like the other Canadians who rip off their civil, silver medal, please. <laughs> I, I'm good at this. <laughs> Some of you may be saying, yeah, well, Lindsay lost to Canada, and Shane is Canadian, so technically he does have that on you. But I think that's a completely pointless argument, because since I can remember, um, Shane has been the face for hockey players like me who grew up here in the desert, and we're so proud to call him an Arizonan now. Um, so Shane, while you may not have one of these big old beauties you got around your neck. Um, you have had the biggest heart of any athlete I've ever had the pleasure to look up to, and it's an honor to be here with you tonight. Um, congratulations on an amazing career, my friend, and I'm looking forward to being a washed-up hockey player with you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Unbelievable job. Okay, I'll give it back to you. I like having it on for a second. Thank you so much. Lindsay will be replacing Jimmy Schubert's September long weekend here at the House of Comedy. Unreal, thank you. God damn, you're funny. And she's good at hockey. 